By now, you think you know what to expect from a Tomb Raider game, right? Lots of puzzles, dual pistol combat, and a camera that gives a nice close view of Lara's posterior. However, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light shakes up this formula considerably. The Tomb Raider name has been dropped altogether, and this adventure is designed to be played with a friend cooperatively. The end result is one of the best adventures Lara has ever starred in. The story is mere fluff, designed as an excuse for Lara to run into traps and encounter monsters. Our heroine uncovers an ancient mirror in South America, an evil demon is released, and the Guardian of Light, Totec, wakes up to help Lara save humanity. The story and dialogue are definitely the weakest parts of this game. But hey, at least you get to see an Aztec deity running around blasting fools with an M16, if you ever wanted to see that. This game is gorgeous. The environments are intricately detailed, and there's a lot of verticality, so you can often see areas in the distance that are either in your immediate past or future. Because the game looks so good, I think I notice the faults more than I normally would. Many objects are destructible and look great as they explode, but then the pieces may immediately disappear when they hit the ground. And during a boss fight with a demonic T-Rex, the collision detection felt a little wonky so that Lara would be warped into its mouth. Not a major thing, but it did momentarily take me out of this beautiful world Crystal Dynamics has created. The gameplay is much more arcadey than any Tomb Raider game before, which is fitting for Xbox Live Arcade. First of all, the game pulls the camera back and has an isometric view like Diablo. Second, the game is designed for co-op play. Yes, there's two-player local co-op. Sadly, the game doesn't launch with online co-op, but that feature will be patched in later. Co-op is great fun, and the puzzles have been cleverly designed to require the particular talents of both Lara and Totec. For example, Totec can throw a spear that Lara can then climb on. Or, Lara can use her grappling hook to create a tightrope for Totec to walk across. I'm happy to report the single-player game is still fun and quite different from the co-op experience. The puzzles are tweaked for one player, Lara is on her own, and she has the use of Totec's spear. Like I said, still very fun, but not quite as cool as working together with someone else. Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light is a great adventure, especially if you're playing co-op. Despite a silly story and the fact that it's not online yet, this is a rebirth for the Tomb Raider franchise. For more info on the game, head over to IGN.com.